All right, thank you everybody for joining us once again for anti-religious scripture study. Welcome back. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> and we're just so, a tad late today. So, so we're um yeah, we're starting a little little at the at the edge of of the 11th hour here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shout out to Thunder Chicken, Jesus Free Computer Geek, and Aisling Seven One Seven, and Joseph Osborne. Hey, what's up, welcome, Jesus Freak? Good to see you. Welcome, early chatters. So, this chapter may be a little cringeworthy for some. Um, some may think that it's problematic the roles that are obtained in here, but it's got a very important thing that we need to discuss, including something that people mention a lot uh and get it misconstrued which is an eye for an eye ever heard of that before oh yes so that's in this chapter so that's going to be kind of an interesting conversation it's a relatively short chapter um just to let you know the chat is open for questions and um just you know type in question in the chat itself just in case we go too short um and we could answer quick questions and please make them quick questions. Uh, I don't want to have to um, get into a rant <laughs> for an hour to explain something, <laughs> <laughs> but um, all right. Shout out to William who was awoken 66. All right. My disclaimer is just Jack's disclaimer to the religious. If you believe it's wrong to, to study the scripture outside of your religion or denomination, if you believe your religious leaders or church fathers are incapable of having inherited anti-scriptural traditions of men, if you've already made up your mind about scripture, including the scripture shouldn't be studied at all, then this stream is not for you. To others, if you are open-minded to others' opinions, if you haven't made up your mind about scripture, if you've been turned off, if you've been turned off to religion but believe there's truth in scripture that may have been changed or hidden by religion. If you live according to scripture and like to dig in and discover more, then the stream is for you. We are looking at scripture in the original language using concordances or dictionaries for words as well as context from a non-religion perspective. We will as well have life experience discussion. We are not here to argue with others about theology or doctrine by the traditions of men, including Catholicism, Christianity, or Judaism. We will be discussing the importance of origins and show how religions contradict the scriptures. All right, there we go. All right. And shout out to Kurt Palasari. And excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. All right. So let me put this back in parallel. I was I was doing some investigating for Karen. All right. <laughs> let's um let's get into it. All right. Okay, we're uh, Leviticus twenty four. Yep. Um and Yehovah spoke to Moshe saying, Command And again, this is this is the first spoke is Devar, which is the word, and the second word is saying. So this is this is where you can see there's a difference here. There's word and then there's speak. Mm hmm Okay. All right. Command the children of Israel that they bring to you. Clear oil of pressed olives for the light to make the lamps burn continually. Okay. Outside the veil of the witness in the tent of appointment, Aharon is to arrange it from evening until morning before Yehovah continually, a law forever throughout your generations. He is to arrange the lamps on the clean gold lampstand before Yehovah continually. And this is, of course, the menorah in the tabernacle. Okay. And you shall take fine flour and bake 12 cakes with it, two-tenths of an ephah in each cake. And this cake is um, right here. Have you ever heard of challah? Yeah. Bread. Yeah, I've this made actually says, bread. yeah, this actually says hala, which is to mean twisting or um uh like twisting to make a hole to drill. So it's uh 
twisting and and holy bread yeah well and then hollow you braid it usually there's three and you just yes. you braid it yeah that is that is the modern tradition yes <laughs> it's it's yummy it's very good it is good i love that if, bread if you can eat bread i can no longer but yeah it's yummy <laughs> one of my favorites okay um, and you shall set them in two rows, six in a row on the clean table before Yehovah. So two rows of six in a row because there's 12 tribes. So it's one, one challah per tribe. And you shall put clear frankincense on each row and it shall be on the bread as a remembrance portion, an offering made by fire to Yehovah. On every Sabbath, he is to arrange it before Yehovah continually from the children of Israel in an everlasting covenant. So here we see that the priests actually have a command that they are the ones who work on Sabbath. They're the only ones who work on Sabbath. And the reason being is because they have a designated time of work. So they work their their period and then it goes over to a family member. So because they work just that short period of time and they don't work any other time they don't need sabbath rest because they just have this chunk of time that they work mm. then they're off for the rest of the year so okay and it shall be for aharon and his sons and they shall eat it in the set apart place because it is most set apart to him from the offerings of yehovah made by fire in everlasting law all right all right so that is a recap of some tabernacle stuff. Now we're going to get into some nitty gritty. <laughs> okay. And the son of an Israeli, Israeli woman, whose father was a Mitzrayan man, went out among the children of Israel, and the Israeli woman's son and the man of Israel strove in the camp. All right, so... Obviously, it's a, if you want to use modern terms, an Egyptian man, mm -hmm. Israeli woman, have a son. He's sparking. This is the, the word they're using here. He's sparking with a Israeli man, another Israeli man. So they're they're calling him. They're saying that he he's kind of a Israeli man, but he's like um, half Israeli, half Mitzrayim. However. Mm -hmm. This is the strangers that went out from Mitzrayim. So they're all supposed to be under the same covenant, the same contract between Yah mm. and his people. All right. Mm, okay. And the Israeli woman's son blasphemed the name and cursed. So they brought him to Moshe. Now his mother's name was Shilomith, the daughter of Debri and the tribe of Dan, of the tribe of yeah, Dan. It's, yeah, it, Shilomit. Shalom, eat. but okay. yeah, and and shalom meaning peace mm -hmm. of the word. So her name was peace of the word of the judge. That's what these names mean. Um, and it does say, like they added of the Lord in the King James version, which is why it's italicized. Mm. But it literally just says blaspheme the name. Okay, mm -hmm. Hashem. All right, now. Mm. You can speculate um, because of the term that it uses that it's the piercing, which is uh, blasphemy, the piercing of the name, that it is the name of Yehovah. So if you remember um, there when we were talking about them offering their seed to um, uh, Moloch, that that was blasphemy to Yehovah. So we don't know exactly how he blasphemed the name, but it's obviously pretty aggressive um, in the incident. So, Okay. And they put him under guard that it might be declared to them at the mouth of Yehovah. And Yehovah spoke to Moshe, saying, Bring the one who has cursed outside the camp, and all those who heard him shall lay their hands on his head, and all the con congregation shall stone him. All right, so now we're saying that it's not just blaspheme, but it's also a curse. So he cursed 
the name or he cursed using the name. It's hard to tell, like in the context, whether he used the name to curse or whether he cursed the name. But I think it's the latter um, from the way that it was speaking of the name first. Hmm. Okay. And speak to the children of Israel, saying, anyone who curses his Elohim shall bear his sin. And he who blasphemes the name of Yehovah shall certainly be put to death, and all the congregation certainly stone him, the stranger as well as the native, when he blasphemes the name, he is put to death. Right, so if you're joined in, and you're causing strife, and then you're blaspheming Yehovah at the same time, then it's a death sentence. All right, now we're off that subject, and we're <laughs> now there. We're doing an overarching like, why is this a death sentence? So then they get into um, the previous commandments that we've heard about about if you damage this, you need to repay that. But now it's a little more detailed on the repay part. So we'll get go ahead and get into that. Go ahead. Okay. And a man who strikes the being of any man shall certainly be put to death. Okay, so this strike uh, is hit to death. Okay. Palm crush. Mm -hmm. So there, that's um, death by hand is what that means. Mm -hmm. It's not just if you smack someone, you're put to death. That, right. it, that's not what it's saying here. Right. Because it's saying strikes the being of any man. So yeah, that's like, yeah, it's it's not like you walk up and the man, you, uh, it's the being of the man that's like striking the whole of the man. So that sounds like taking him out to me. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. And he who strikes a beast repays it body for body. Right. So we talked about this in previous chapters where if you kill a. Uh, a bull, you have to repay the bull and stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And when a man inflicts a blemish upon his neighbor, as he has done, so it is done to him. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, as he inflicts a blemish upon him, so it is done to him. All right, so before we move on, uh, Fracture is a, a burst out or an exchange. So it's not really clear if it's fracture. King James Version says breach for breach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, regardless, it's it's an infliction, you know, for affliction. But that word for is not an accurate translation. It's actually low or under. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what that means is you cannot give more than a exchange for an exchange. You cannot take more than an eye for an eye. You cannot uh, do more than a tooth for a tooth. So it's saying if you're punishing someone, you cannot inflict more on them than what they did to you. It's actually a limit um, commandment. It's not a, it's required of you if somebody takes out your eye, it's not required of you to take his eye. Right. But what you take from him cannot be more than that eye in worth. Right. That's what it's talking about. And it's it's missed because we just used the word for when it literally says under or below. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so that's that's important. Mm -hmm. All right. And he who strikes a beast repays it. And he who strikes a man to death is put to death. So there it, it clarifies it. Right. Um, but again, we're using the same as the ver first verse. Mm -hmm. The from palm crush. So that's that's life from the hand. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's talking about. It's not it's not just somebody smacking a man. <laughs> um, King James Version uses killeth, you know, that's mm -hmm. more appropriate than strikes. Uh, I do know why they did this strikes thing because sometimes there it uses the same term of the 
the root word for palm, where it just means hit, but it doesn't have the prefix of from. Um, it's complicated <laughs> with the prefixes and suffixes changing the nuance, yeah. but it's still the same root word. It's still from the palm. In other words, from your hand, you know, if you've mm-hmm. taken a man from your hand, this includes um, kidnapping and murder. Okay. Mm-hmm. From the hand. Mm-hmm. Cause it, it clarifies it in previous verses that we've looked at that if you, you know, take a man, then you're put to death as well because you're stealing his life. Right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you are to have one right ruling for the stranger and for the native. I am Yehovah, your Elohim. And Moshe spoke to the children of Israel, and they brought the one who cursed outside the camp and stoned him with stones. And the children of Israel did as Jehovah commanded Moshe. And again, these stones are heaping. So these are not um, throwing little rocks. This is like you bury them with stones. So Yikes. Yep. All right. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Obviously not a gentle ending to the chapter. <laughs> it's a little rough, a little rougher than usual. Um, all right, let's see here. That was a short chapter. Yes, it was. Shout out to Captain Constru- uh, Captain Construction. <laughs> Profane or damage or twist, root word, yeah. Perforate or twist, yep, that's the root of chala. (laughs) Okay, shout out to Silbo, Tom Budis, Rocky Shepard. Effed up world. SpaceX just launched an arrow at the firmament. (laughs) All right. Okay, so not much going on in chat. No. Anything in the alternative chats? Let me check. Uh, Rockfin. Hello, Annie D. Good to see you. And there. No. Uh, well, good thing I had a short chapter when we started late. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Makes it's, up for it. It's nice outside. It's a good day to not spend a ton of time on the computer and I agree. get some sunshine. I agree. I will be going anyway. out as, as soon as we hang up. We're going out. So <laughs> Yeah, right. <clears throat> all right. All right. Well, y'all have a restful day and Shabbat Shalom. Shout out to Tribbling Tribune. Hey, what's up? All right. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for this quick episode of Anti-Religious Scripture Study. But we'll be back again next Saturday with another chapter. So have a restful day. Enjoy oh, the rest. Oh, hold on. Of- Uh-oh. Jesus Free Computer Geek says he has a question. So Okay. <laughs> Get in there. Hurry up. <laughs> I, was, I almost hit the end button. <laughs> It looks like uh, Jesus Free Computer Geek is uh, doing some investigation in Paleo Hebrew because I recognize that logo from Ancient Hebrew uh, website. So that's good for you. Um, what's up, Mark Rizzo? Okay, <laughs> he said, "See you next time." <laughs> no question. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Voynich, Jay Johnson. Okay. okay. TCZ, man. Okay. <laughs> Don't be proud. It's not the month for it. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Good guys. to see y'all. Have the a earth good is still one. flat. Whoop. Always flat. Flat Overfest 2023. Vegas, baby, Vegas. <laughs> All right. Shalom. <laughs>